Good morning and welcome to my show. This is Aaron Davis from sunny Miami. It's kind of sunny, but it's still raining. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of stretching. Just took my medication. It's going to take about half an hour, 25 minutes to kick in. I do a little bit of stretching, nothing too complicated, very basic. I do professional stretching with somebody that knows what they're doing. Make sure you try to learn as much as you can and don't try to hurt yourself because you can end up doing that thinking you're doing the right thing. I usually do a little bit of yoga. I try to at least, I do yoga in the afternoon at the studio here nearby. And I do yoga on Saturdays. By the way, this is my logo for my company, Fearless LLC. It's made for me. We will be making some more, but it's getting too hot. And I'm not fat. It's I'm bloated, I'm bloated, more bloated than anything else. With this. Parkinson's disease, it's very common to become bloated in the morning and it's, yeah, constipation is a side effect of, of, of this, of the medication, of, and unfortunately. Exhale and inhale as much as you can. Try to boot 30 seconds or a minute if you can. I know people with mobility issues only can do as much as they can and do do as you as your body tells you. Don't try to overdo it. It takes time to build up to this. And my biggest problem is trying to get my ankle, my heels to touch the ground, as you can see. It's a big problem because we all walk on our toes and don't really walk on our heels. You can do this two to three times, but because this is a quick workout, I only do everything once. Start out with stretching your lower back, which I have an issue with, and also the muscles in your legs, and your thighs, and your hips. You'll feel it all. The other can have your, the leg you're not using at a 90 degree angle, like I'm doing it here, or you can have it on the floor. It all depends on what, what works for you. They always tell you to keep it a 90 degree angle because it saves you from having back issues. But I don't have a problem. And I do this about five, six, ten times to straighten out the leg, pull it back, pull it back. And you will feel it in your quads, your gastronomus, especially. Oof. Then I cross it over. And this is something that's very useful as well. And you'll feel it all over here. I usually do about 20 to 30 of these per session. And it's painful, but it's very effective. Like in my case, I'm shaking right now, so I have to control the other leg as well. And you come back down, go back up, come back down, twist up, heel up, it's the whole key to all this. And then you go on the opposite side, same leg, straighten out the other one, and bring this, pull it as far up as you can, then you twist the heel up as well. Key to all these. This particular stretching is the heel. Try to push it up toward the ceiling. Do it for three to five seconds and you will feel it.
Let's say do six to ten repetition of that. And you switch, switch legs. <laughs> and the same concept. This one I do because this leg is tighter. So I have to really use all my muscles and strength to get it as high as possible. You don't have to bring it low, just let loose and pull. You do six to ten repetition, three to five seconds each. So you can do either one. Depends on how flexible you are, how tight your legs are. And of course, if you have it at a 90 degree, you can save yourself from having any other lower back issues. The same thing with this one, cross your leg over, the one that you're not using. Try to get your heel toward the ceiling. Three to five seconds. <laughs> you feel it everywhere. But it's very effective. Or for those people that are having issues with the inner thighs or other thighs, this can be of use as well. Not just stretching, but it's a good workout. Push those heels toward the ceiling. Try to get it as far up as possible, and you push it up. Then you cross it over, and use the other arm, straighten out the other leg, pull it as far as you can. Whew. It's a workout. You push the heel toward the ceiling. Mine's not cooperating that well today, but usually does. I said I just took my medication, so it takes a little while to kick in and allow me the flexibility and the control of my legs and arms. This one as well, also for your lower back, for those who have problems. This hurts a little bit, but you get used to it. Like in my case, I'm used to it. Try to lift the leg off the ground. Do sets of 10 of these, or whatever you can. do two to three counts of these because they're very painful. And then you switch legs. <laughs> it's not easy. And these you don't need to buy one of these um, rubber bands, rubber mesh. You can do this with if you have a dog collar or anything else that's flexible, that gives the flexibility, you can use them. You don't have to invest much money into all this. Push the switch arm. <sighs> this one is tighter today. Supposed to push your leg up, but this is not cooperating today. <laughs> it happens. <sighs> That's basically my workout and stretching for today. I'm getting ready to go do a run on the treadmill, and you can do the basic stretching exercises, of course, which are the traditional ones, which are bending over grabbing your toes. It all depends on your flexibility. The problem you have are the problems you don't have with your back. You can do them inverted like these, or the track and field stars. 
I personally don't like. Or you can do these, which I personally prefer. Do the one legs. Make sure you try to keep your leg as straight as possible. Not easy. Ah. Gotta do it my way. This thing make a lot of noise. Arm is going crazy, but it's normal. So I'm gonna deal with it. As you can see, I'm bloated as ever. I do have a six pack on a good day. But every morning I wake up, it all depends. Sometimes you wake up with a flat stomach, sometimes you wake up with a bloatedness, and it takes time to go away. Um, there are a lot of enzymes and stuff one can buy at um, like GNC and other health store that you can use to flush all, help you flush all that waste away so you don't have these difficulties anymore. And I do, but it takes time. So always prepare yourself and take care of yourself and eat healthy. Stay active for those with mobility issues. I should have a lot more muscle with all the shaking, but I don't. It's just part of the disease. I appreciate you looking at my channel. Please support me. We're working on the clothing line that will be coming out soon, Fearless. LLC is the company and the, the line is named Fearless. It's made for me, it's, it's the motto. Thank you very much. I'm working on a book as well. We have a couple of publishers that are interested in it. So look forward to that. That's going to be Fearless and Fearlessly is the second one that will be out sometime this year or next year. Probably next year. It takes time. I have too many things going on. Thank you for your support, friends, family, and people from all over the world. I do appreciate it. And it has been a journey. And it's just starting. It's like an avalanche, a roller coaster, everything, all in once. And I'm looking forward to having you experience this with me online, on camera, whatever, whatever it takes, in a book, my journey. It has been an adventure. After going through all this and having to experience this and having to make it 360 in my entire life to adjust to having Parkinson at a, such a young age, it's inspirational not just to me, but I think to a lot of other people, that's what I've been told. And I hope I can make a difference in the life of other people as well. Young, old, or just people that need help in general. You don't have to have a disease to, to need help or, or to get inspired to do something to make a difference in life. All right, thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend. This is Darren Davis from Miami. Bye-bye.